If you shoot with the Ronin M, you may have run into an issue where you're losing horizontal level and the balance, it'll roll left or it'll roll right over time. And no matter how much you calibrate or try and fix it while you're shooting, it still keeps happening. And the problem is you need to upgrade your Ronin M firmware, the actual firmware that's built into the hardware. And there didn't seem to be a good video on how to do this, so I thought I'd make one. So it's pretty simple and straightforward, but I did run into a few speed bumps. So I wanted to make sure you guys don't have to deal with the headache that I did. First of all, you want to make sure you're on the Ronin M page, Ronin M. The DJI makes a Ronin and a lot of people were linking to the firmware for the Ronin. Well, you need to make sure you're on the Ronin M page and you can check that by just looking in the URL, Ronin M. Now, once you're there, you're going to go download the driver installer for uh, actually the assistant software for Windows or for Mac. I'm on a Mac, so I downloaded the assistant software version 1.9. That's the current version, and that's the version that has the latest firmware for the hardware that'll fix the horizontal roll. You can go into the notes and read about it if you'd like to, but that's kind of where they've listed that out. Again, if you're on Windows, you're going to grab that one. There's also some other stuff here that's somewhat helpful. They've got some release notes, some disclaimers, um, user manuals, etc., etc. It's all on the download page on the DJI website if you like to look at that stuff. But for this, we're going to download the assistant software version 1.9. And once you do that and you copy it over to your applications folder, you're going to get this, the DJI assistant. And it's really important like I said, that you get the Ronin M version because this won't work if you get the Ronin uh, regular version. So okay, I think it's on like a different firmware. And anyway, so what you do now is you need to plug your Ronin M into your computer and you do that with the USB connection on the Ronin M. But here's where you need to make sure you use the right cable. I was using a regular USB, micro USB cable to connect the Ronin to my computer and I wasn't seeing it, I wasn't seeing it. I was going back and forth, re-downloading stuff, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Long story short, if you use the supplied USB cable that came with the Ronin M, when you got the Ronin M, it should have come with a USB cable. You need to use that one. I don't know if there's other variations, maybe you lost it, maybe you can buy a new one online somewhere, but I had to use the USB cable that came with the Ronin M. I have no idea why. It looks like a regular micro USB, but that's the only way I got it to work. Once I used the actual USB cable that came with the device, then it was able to connect. And actually, once you connect, it's really easy. You just go to the upgrade tab and it'll check your firmware against the latest firmware. And right there, you can just install it and upgrade it. It's really easy and it should be a smooth streamlined process, but you have to make sure that you use that supplied USB cable because the other micro USB cable, I had nothing special about it, just a normal micro USB cable, but that wasn't working. So apparently there's some special something or another that's in that uh, the DJI supplied USB cable that makes it work better. Uh, you can't do this wirelessly. I thought maybe that would be an option to do through an app or something, but again, with firmware and, and these hardware updates, you definitely want to make sure you have a wired solid connection. So make sure, you know, the battery's powered up and all that good stuff. So you're not going to lose power during the middle of a firmware upgrade because that could really mess up your system. So hopefully that helps. If you've been having issues with the roll getting off balance, upgrade your firmware. Once I did that, I've had no problems and it stayed perfectly horizontally level. Uh, DJI says they've added a check to their system so that periodically it'll check to make sure that it's balanced. And so far, so good. I've shot for about five hours with the new firmware and no problems. It's worked uh, flawlessly. But, you know, if I run anything, I'll let you know. But for the time being, it's working well.